drop the brace. What's up, guys? Ryan and Mike here from Full House RS, and this is our week 47 week ahead video. So, updates this week. There's quite a bit of information this week, but as in game updates, Jagex haven't really been in the headquarters to actually check on the updates, so they Which probably I didn't want to do a huge update when they're not going to be there. Yeah, I don't blame them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so RuneFest was uh, this Saturday, yesterday, yes. and uh, me and Jiggy and Jason, we all watched it live together. But we're probably going to do a separate video on like the RS 2014 stuff and uh, any other thing we found in the stream that we thought was interesting. We'll probably do a separate video for that later this week. Yes. Uh, and we could also talk about the behind the scenes, but we already did that. So I didn't. Well, by we, I mean <laughs> Full House RS. Ryan was Mine's too busy Ryan. making money to support our drug habits. Mm-hmm. But we can talk about some of the other updates this week. Uh, the one being the Well of Good Fortune. No, the Well of Goodwill. That was it. Yeah, that's it. And basically, it's a way to get some money out of the economy. If you want to give money, you can go ahead and throw it in the well. And it will be... Basically, for every 10 mil coins you donate, it will... Uh, Jagus will do donate $1 to charities that they have listed up on the website on the main website. And if you want to buy a bond and throw it in the well, they will pretty much give all of the proceeds to... It's like 30 cents less. Yeah, you, they give 95%. And I'm thinking that's because uh, with bonds, you have to pay by PayPal, and PayPal takes a cut. So mm -hmm. they, have to re they have to cut their losses there a little bit. But so I'm far... I'm surprised that the well has actually gotten some bad feedback. Yeah, it is... It all goes to charity. I mean, I don't think Jax is making anything out of this except for being able to write it off, which any company can do and any person can do if they want to donate. Um, and two, it helps charity. And what did what does Jax get out of it? Maybe the gold sink. It helps the economy and the game a little bit, which in turn helps us. So I don't really see yeah, it. Yeah, and people are complaining about like 10 mil for one dollar isn't a good conversion ratio but you have to realize that a we don't want to bankrupt jack x and b if they made it like 10 mil equals like five dollars we would just have to donate less to reach the goal mm -hmm. and i mean like half of it is for the money sink which this is like one of the greatest money sinks i've ever seen like well you can use your money to donate to charity charity but you don't have to if you don't want to. It's also a thing of the fact is ten million for one dollar for ten million doesn't. It seems like a lot to some people, and to some people it really is. But if the people that actually do have that kind of money were to donate it, like there are tons of people that have a lot of money donating. Like the top donator has donated five point two bill, well almost five point three, and there are several of those that have donated one bill. And those are just a fraction of the players. The players that actually have a lot of money have not donated. They said at RuneFest, what, like 4,000 people have donated out of however many players RuneScape has? I don't. I didn't see that. They have not. It has been a fraction. They said like 4% of the RuneScape players have donated. And that's I've anything been... at all. And so if I think, like uh, Silent Core joked about, he said if... If Fishy still had his account and could donate his money, that money came is still some of that money is still in the economy in some people's hands. If some people like that were able to donate the money they had, they could instantly probably get over fifty percent of the one trillion goal instantly, mm -hmm. because there are some rich people out there. I've been meaning to put my. I was just gonna put ten mil in because, uh, even though like I have a party hat and stuff, I'm not necessarily like rolling in gp but mm -hmm. i just keep forgetting i don't where is it i don't even know where it is south of ge it is south of ge oh, if right, you right, wanted right. to donate something and it, the uh, interface is kind of weird if you're trying to figure out how to donate an exact amount of money uh there's it automatically defaults to 10 percent, 
And if you want to donate in something specific, you have to click on the screen where it shows how much money you're donating, and it'll go into like a type your amount. You type the amount and hit enter. You have to hit enter for it to register that you're trying to put that much in, and then you confirm it with a button click. So, Okay. So, yeah, some people were finding it confusing, and it was a little bit clunky. I wish you could just take the item, click it on the well, and then they'd say, do you want to donate this? Yes, but it has to go through the interface, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, so besides the wishing well, we also have the Lumbridge Rebuild-a-thon, uh, which is pretty straightforward. I mean, you just look at what resources are needed to get, and you just get them and give it to them, and you get a large lamp every day. Yeah, so it, it's pretty simple. I will say it's kind of nice visually to be able to see players' work actually cause something because the house has evolved. We're actually on the mm. second house now because we finished the first one. And so you can see Lumbridge evolve as you work on it, which is pretty cool that it could do that without any hot, without any real update. It updates automatically. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I think it would... would it's pretty cool that way. It is supposed to be... They didn't want a traditional Halloween event. So this is supposed to be somewhat of a Halloween event and also somewhat of a social event for combination of RuneFest and shit. Yeah. I really like it, though. I mean, a large lamp every day. Combine that with my div challenge. That's almost 50k experience a day. Mm-hmm. Which I don't mind. It is pretty... I'll, I'll give it like a, a 6, a 7... <laughs> Yeah, I I would agree, actually. Okay, so on to our videos for next week. Mike, what are you planning on doing? I actually have pretty much any video I want to do this week is probably going to be up based on what other videos you guys want to put up this week because I will have a Road to Max, I will have a Barrows, I will have a Treasure Trail, and I will also have a video with our friend Taylor from RS Bros 2 that I can put up. Oh. So I have plenty of videos. It's just I will put them up whenever we have a free day. And uh, we'll base that on what the other guys uh, have plans for videos. Because I think Jason might be able to get uh, some things done by the middle of the week and be able to put out another video. So That's cool. What about so, you? So uh, for me, I am tomorrow I'll be streaming, but it's not going to be a, a Road to One Bell from scratch. Uh, I think it's going to be like me, Jiggy, you, maybe a couple other people. And I think we're just going to do a little bossing. Mm -hmm. KK. Like we used to do. Yeah, KK. Maybe next. I don't know. I won't be able to go to next. I don't have overloads. But I'll you be, might able be able to, go to still try KK. it with like res super restores or something. We could just try it, maybe. like. Yeah, I guess I could, I could try it. Well, I, I don't have a key. That, that too. I'll but. have to go get a key. But. If not, I'll definitely be for the KK and anything else that you guys wanted to do. Yeah, we'll go we could do, go some... do the mole. I was just gonna say that we could do some <laughs> giant mole before it's rework. I will give a little spoiler to the the Runefest thing. The best thing about it was they're revamping the giant mole, so I would they're instantly have went to Runefest for that. Yeah, they're gonna make a hard mode for it, but I'm, I'm just saying, giant mole. What's not to love? Exactly. I remember doing it one time, and I died with full Darox. Gark had to get it for me. That was embarrassing. So you pull, you pulled in a friend. Yes. <sighs> All right. So you're going to be streaming tomorrow, and what about <clears throat> your vids? Uh, for my videos, I'll be doing a road to one bill from scratch. Um, I'm not, cause I like started my QBD guide, but now they're just like, they're, like with the items dropped on death and stuff. I might just wait until I get 99 divination. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of bossing after I get my comp cape back just because uh, I want some money mm -hmm. so I can buy some PVM gear back. Like, I want to get, like, next sets and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I might just, like, wait until I get 99 div. And then I think I might do, like, a couple of boss guides. Like, uh, I know Jiggy's been doing next a lot, and I want to go with him when I get 99. And uh, we'll see some other stuff. And like I said, I'm trying to get... Uh, complicate back before the end of the year so and i should get 94 tonight so as you'll see Dude. tomorrow in the stream kk is a lot of fun 
Yeah. Now. <laughs> like before Jiggy was saying, like he's always having so much fun before when it was easy. And then it kind of got harder and more complicated, or at least he thought. And then now that he's got it down again, he's just like, it's just as fun as it's always been. Yeah. And, and I'll tank like always. And it kind of, Bob brought up something that I kind of forgot is even back when I didn't go with them, when I wasn't actually going with them on KK, I would be in the Skype call and I'd get so into it because they were getting so into it. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, fuck, balls everywhere. Fall, fuck. And I'm, I'm sitting over here like, what is going on? And now I've actually experienced it. So it's fun. It is fun. Oh. I've finally gotten the mage phase down. So. And uh, besides my road to one bill from scratch, I have another video but i want to keep it on the dl you know mm -hmm. down low oh yeah i thought you mean i thought you meant dl hugely hugely i can't even say his name nope i don't even know what you're talking about he's a black guy see dl hugely okay i just put up a, just google search and put up a picture of him right there okay bob as always we're not sure jiggy i'm going um, I already mentioned about Jason having uh, a video this week, maybe if he can get enough Dungeoneering done. As for Bob, he is working on a series, or not really a series, a set of videos for his series. And so he probably won't make a video until that's actually done. And it's he's around the quarter of a way done. But he doesn't want to reveal what it is just oh, yet. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. And then as for J Jiggy, I don't think he's going to be doing a video this week. But he is bossing and eventually is trying to figure out a way to do a bossing series that isn't just like everybody else's bossing series. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling I might know what it could possibly be. Yes. So, anyways, guys, that's our week 47 week ahead video. Five more weeks until a year of our channel. Woo. Oh, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow for our stream. See you later.